this whole specimen here may very well have represented the globe of an eye. And the reason why I think that is because if you move out here towards the edge, it looks as though you're getting some thickened fibrous tissue or the uh, sclera of the fibrous tunic. You don't really see much of a uh, normal retina on the inside, however. In fact, in this area, you don't even see much of a fibrous tunic anymore. What you do see, however, filling up this eyeball is some type of tumor tissue that uh, has several features. One feature is that it is extensively necrotic. All of this pinker, granular, cruddy area is necrosis. Some of it is blood, but most of it is necrotic tissue in which you can't really make out very good cellular detail at all, although you could see a lot of uh, inflammatory cells. The other feature of this tumor that you see is that most of the dark, more viable tumor cells all appear to be growing around blood vessels. This is a classical perivascular tumor cell pattern in which you see a central uh, blood vessel here and then the tumor cells seem to grow around it and because this tumor is growing so fast when it finally outgrows its blood supply it becomes necrotic. Uh, I'm not too sure if the word rosette has ever been applied to this before. It may have, but it's not like the kind of rosettes that you see in neuroblastoma. This is more a perivascular uh, pattern of tumor growth. Note the nuclei themselves are very small. They're very dark. This is none of, one of these small blue cell tumors that you see in children, and this is very often a childhood tumor. This is a retinoblastoma or a malignant uh, growth of uh, retinal tumor cells. I don't want to spend more, much more time on this because you'll probably never see one in your life uh, because I'm almost 60 years old and I've never seen a real case either other than cases like this for the teaching file. Thank you very much.